Hey, Glory Gang. What's up? What's up? Welcome back to another behind the scenes vlog. What are we doing today? We're gonna shoot some food. Let's go. I love food. Food is delicious. I like to eat it a lot, like all the time. It's it tastes good. It's fun to eat. It's true. And we're cooking some of the best food and shooting it today. Bacon. Yep. Uh, ribs. I mean, mm. you just can't go wrong. So mm. we're super excited. We're uh, partnering with a really awesome company that hired us to shoot this commercial. We wanted to give you guys a little inside look of how we're going to do that. We're super excited to show you guys behind the scenes of what we decide to do. But let's get to it. Y'all want the drip, 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 drip. Y'all want the drip, drip. I know the faucet. I know the faucet. Y'all want the drip. 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 Alright guys, so as we are starting to get set up for this commercial, um, currently we have our backdrop set up. As you can see behind us, we ended up just using um, two of the like wood framed panels that we had here in the studio. Uh, when we moved in, so we're using those, the same same panels that are in the content studio, but we had a couple extra, and uh, we wanted a dark background so that when we're cooking food, you can see the steam rise up against a dark background. If you were to shoot it on a light background, you really lose all of the steam, um, and so we're choosing to pretty much set up with this dark background here that you can see behind me. It's just uh, these brick texture panels. Got our table here with our little charcuterie board. Yeah, this was actually given to us pretty much for a gift, but it has this really cool live edge to it. So it matches the brand and kind of vibe that we're going for. So we're gonna obviously cover our logo with the meat itself or with whatever we decide to decorate it with. I think this will be really nice for the footage that we're going after. Totally. So with this ad, uh, we're actually shooting something like 15 different products. Um, and really the goal is to capture each product raw um, in the packaging as well as cooked and really kind of combining all of those. So we'll have a few different setups, but for now, what we're gonna do is really go make a list of all of the products that we have so that we make sure we hit each one and then we'll finish kind of setting up here. We'll finish building out our camera rig, um, which we have right here. Yeah, we're... Uh, Shooting with the Sony FX3 today, taking advantage of the awesome 4K 120 slow-mo. And then we uh, actually have this little camera dolly that our friend Graham gave us because he didn't have any use for it. So we're gonna use that. Uh, we're gonna use a slider, but uh, the issue with that is that You can, really, you can really get it going if you just put your back into it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's try to make it last till we begin the shoot, shall we? <laughs> um, not a super expensive camera dolly, but uh, it was something that we had. We tried to rig this up with a slider, but this uh, Manfrotto head right here, the, the screw threads are pretty stripped. Um, and the issue with that is that it doesn't really screw on to anything unless the screw is like this long because the first quarter inch of this threads are completely stripped. Um, it's the only like really good fluid head that we have. So we had to mount this to the tripod because it has a long enough screw to actually kind of lock onto the head. And then we'll be using the dolly for our smooth motion. Um, so super excited to try out some stuff, to learn some new things, and then we'll be using the dolly for our smooth motion. Um, so super excited to try out some stuff, to learn some new things with this setup, but we're gonna go make our list then we're gonna go to the store. We're gonna buy ingredients that we need just to dress this up, make it look nice, make it look pretty, um, good presentations, and then we will start shooting. So let's go make that list. Let's go. All right, so we're shooting all kinds of products today. I'm gonna to run through a few of them. Um, and then Austin is going to make a list. And then with that list, we are gonna pair that product or that item with things that we need for the shoot. So for instance, this is a Voodoo Ranger Mango Habanero IPA beer brought, which sounds super fire. So obviously with this, um, we would probably get a six pack of Voodoo Ranger and incorporate that into the shot because they are licensed and obviously are using the Voodoo Ranger um, branding. I am not worried. I am not worried about 
getting a beer and pouring it and kind of incorporating it into this uh, product shot. So we'll do that. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Maybe getting some habaneros or mango, chopping it up. I don't know. We'll figure it out. And then maybe getting buns to put them on because people eat brats with buns for the most part. Unless you're gluten-free like me. By the way, this company is incredible. Uh, Nyman Ranch, they're one of our favorite clients. We've worked with them for many years now, um, shooting on farms and um, really been all over the country at different farms that they humanely raise. So all their products have no antibiotics. They're all, you know, like free range, like green pasture, certified humane. It's all super, super quality, great meat and uh, great quality farms that the meat comes from. So we got to meet a ton of these farmers. They're awesome. Um, they're just all incredible people. We love the company and we hope to continue to work with them forever because they're awesome. All right guys, we got our shopping list made. Now let's go to the store and get our supplies. And I wish it wasn't so nice out here. It's really a beautiful day in good old Nebraska. It's, it's a beautiful day for going shopping. Let's do this. All right, we're at the B. The it's where B. It's where all the helpful smiles are. In every aisle. Because there's a helpful smile in every aisle. Yeah, let's get some supplies. All right, so obviously we have the Voodoo Ranger IPA brats. We're gonna go ahead and grab a tall boy so we can pour this into a glass for the shot. Um, and it'll be good to have like the six pack clean, use it in the background maybe. Um, and then, you know, probably drink some of it because it's freaking delicious if you've ever had this. If you're 21 and you haven't had this, you should try it. It is delicious. Cool, so they don't have a six pack, so we have to get a 12 pack. Dang it. Darn. Go ahead and grab a six pack of fat tire here because we need that as well um you know how you find actually i don't know if this is true or not but i think it is that uh if you find out how a pineapple is ripe and ready to eat you pull its leaves you give it a little tug to see if they're loosely um able to come out so uh you gotta give it a little smell you know yeah this one looks good so we just met these guys, uh, Keegan and Peyton, was yep. it? Keegan and Peyton, they're uh, right down there. And uh, it's funny, when you walk around a store with a camera, people are like, what are you doing? <laughs> and it's kind of fun. Uh, we've already like ran into two people at this high V. First lady was in the, in the uh, wine and spirits area and she was like, what are you guys doing? And we're like, oh, we're filming a food commercial that they uh, use these two types of beer in their food and we're gonna shoot it. And she's like, oh, that's so cool. She was working here. And then uh, we just ran into these other guys and they're making drunken noodles and they're like, yo, uh, what's the camera for? And we're like, yo, we're uh, making a food commercial. And so we, uh, you know, linked up on Instagram and uh, they uh, are part of a creative group and do clothes and food and music and all kinds of stuff. So um, really cool meeting people uh, in random places at stores at Hy-Vee. So uh, let's keep shopping. Um, we'd probably do... Oh, here's habaneros. Really? Right there, I'm pretty sure. Oh, those are jalapenos. Jalapeno. Uh, that's... Green serrano is probably close enough. Yeah, these are cool. I would get a... Yeah, so we'll get a couple of these bad boys um, to kind of replace habanero. I know... Isn't habanero orange? Doesn't matter. I think they come in both, cool. both flavors. Well, they look great, so let's just get them. Okay. Hey, let me look it up. These are good looking. Let me see. They're like that. Oh. Uh, right there. Yo. Let's go. I might get these just for the color. Okay, so we did find some habaneros, which these look awesome. They look like little baby pumpkins, kind of. They do. I don't think I've ever bought a habanero before. I wonder if it's hot. You think it's hot, like on the outside? Yes. Oh, maybe not. Probably not on the outside. It's the seeds, right? Yeah. At least with jalapenos, it is. Right. I love jalapenos. I like spicy stuff. You think four is good enough? Yeah. Ten dollars a pound. Yeah. Woo wee. That's All right. So we got a basting brush. Uh, we met our third encounter today. 
Uh, his name was Mark. I don't know. Let me look at his card. I think his name was Mark. His name was Mark. His name was Mark. He's a food consultant in town, and he's like, hey, what are you guys doing? And uh, we told him we're shooting a commercial uh, for Nyman Ranch, and he recognized the brand, not only recognized the brand, but was like, hey, they really pioneered the natural uh, food raising industry and the whole antibiotic free, all of the stuff that they stand for. He was like really impressed, hadn't heard the name in a long time, but he was like, they like started this trend. So it's pretty cool to work with clients like Nyman Ranch and just to get to meet people at a random high view who know who they are and who like literally do food full time. Um, so that was pretty cool. So that was our third encounter with a very nice person. And uh, we're gonna keep shopping, see who else we can meet, I guess. <laughs> Do you think it's gonna be? Um, I don't know. By this list, I really feel like it'll probably be around like, uh, like fifty-four dollars. I'm gonna go eighty-seven ninety. Fifty. I'll do fifty-four sixty. Okay. Fifty-four sixty. All right, eighty-seven ninety is my guess. Eighty-seven ninety. Oh, uh, oh wait, how much is that? Like seventeen dollars. Holy crud! Dang. Well, you so couldn't pick know. a cheaper one. It was the only avocado. Seventeen. Order. You're the one that went to the health section. Don't That's me. No, I'm just saying seventeen bucks. Hey, if we would have went to the non-health section, maybe if they didn't have the wood floors in there, it wouldn't have cost seventeen dollars. That's true. Order. That is true. Being healthy does cost more. It's okay. All right. All in all, that was a fairly pleasant trip. We met all kinds of really nice people. Everyone was really, really nice here, and helped us a lot and they were very smiley because that's their slogan, helpful smiles in every aisle. And we bought $17 avocado oil. So um, that was fun. And Austin won because he was closer. I said 54 or something, 54.80. And you said 80. 87.90. 87.90. So it was he, 98 something. It was like 98 bucks. So we got everything that we need. Now we need to go get a grill and some propane or gas of some sort so that we can run the grill and so I don't know where we're gonna go. Maybe like Lowe's? Maybe go go check out Lowe's? Yeah, we could try it. Try okay. it across the street. Let's kinda. go to Lowe's and see if we can find a grill. You think they have any grills here? I don't know. Hopefully. I hope they have grills here. That would suck if they didn't. I don't really see any. I wonder where they're at. I don't have any. I wonder where all the grills are. Hey guys, we are in Lowe's now, and we're looking for some grills. We're actually looking for one grill, uh, a tabletop grill if we can find one, because we don't want a full grill, we just want something that we can set on a table and use. This would be sick though. Yeah, it would. Is that you? Yep. So we're doing this portable gas grill right here. It's uh, small, it's pretty reasonably priced, and uh, I think it'll get the job done. Heck yeah. So we got that, some propane. Let's go cook some food. Let's do it. All right guys, so we just left Lowe's. They did not have a skillet, uh, which we kind of forgot that we need for the bacon. They did have a portable gas grill that we picked up for putting on the table to cook these meats. Um, but uh, we're gonna go to Target across the street. That'll be our last stop. We'll get a skillet and then we will start setting up for the commercial. So let's do it. All right, guys, so we got the skillet. It was the final item we needed to complete the things that we need to go cook this food to make it look beautiful. And so we're going to head back to the studio and start cooking. Let's do it. Let's go. Finally. All right, guys, we're back at GV Studios, home sweet home. And uh, we're going to get all this stuff loaded in from the car, and then we're going to start setting up, show you guys uh, kind of how we wanted to set this up today and then get started on cooking some food. So let's do this. It was great, but we totally forgot to get a pint glass for the beer to pour it into. Um, so we did get this little tall boy and we did get a 12 pack. So we have the beer, but just nothing to pour it in. We have cups here, but they're not plain, just clear glass. I think it would look really cool. Austin has one at his house of actual Voodoo Ranger, like the new Belgium like branding on the glass. So that could be cool too. So maybe we'll go get that. Well, Darren's uh, working on getting that all unpackaged here. I'll kind of walk you through uh, the setup here. We have, like I showed you earlier, we have the uh, black brick panels in the background. 
Our primary light for this, uh, or lights, we'll probably use a couple of them, will be the Nanlite Forza 300B, which is just an awesome light, puts out a ton of output. It's gonna be super important for this shoot to really get as much light on our subjects as possible. Uh, the reason for this is we are shooting on the, the Laowa Probe Lens macro lens. Um, the reason for this is we are shooting on the Venus Macro Probe Lens, uh, which is a minimum f-stop of f14. Um, so with that, it's really great, has really great characteristics. However, you need a ton of light, especially if you're shooting in slow-mo. Um, so we're gonna probably bring this light super close, probably have to pump it all the way up. We may even need to add more lights, um, but we're gonna go ahead and make sure that we have all the hey, supplies Austin, we need. I got your Red Bull oh, frame. I just said I can't have caffeine. <laughs> This is a cheat. This is my version of a cheat meal. Right here, little guy. It's only 71 milligrams, I think. 80 milligrams, still less than a cup of coffee, so. Also, this, or, uh, this is $17. $17 avocado oil, yeah. Stop it, get some help. So we're gonna just kind of round up our supplies, make sure that we have everything that we need, uh, gather up any remaining things that we need, and then we'll start shooting these products in the packaging and start uh, going from there. And then after we shoot it with the packaging, we'll cook it, shoot it cooked, present, uh, shoot it cooked, present it on a plate with all of the garnishes, all of the beautiful things that we got to make this look really nice. I think it's gonna look fire. I mean, even just like pointing the camera at the spread looks pretty sick. So um, I think it'll be pretty cool. Yeah, what I'm super think, excited. Um, yeah, it's gonna be great. Uh, we, it is my birthday today and my wife is taking me out to dinner here. Um, I gotta be home at 5.15. So we have about three hours to crush this shoot out. So I'm gonna get everything prepped and ready to go. And uh, yeah, we'll get shooting. What do we got here? A hot freaking mess. So I just told you that we didn't have a lot of time. I opened up the grill, and I don't know why I didn't think of this. I've never owned a, a tailgating grill or like stovetop or a, just a small portable grill like this. And uh, it came completely deconstructed. So I mean, it came with seven million pieces and parts and doohickeys. And uh, yeah, so obviously we need to put it together to be able to use it properly. Um, there's like a freaking manual the size of my car uh, in here. And uh, you know me and instructions, I don't read them. So uh, I'll probably have to read some of these because it's kind of like safety. But yeah, not a fan so far. So I probably would have went ahead and spent the extra $100, honestly, uh, to not put it together. But uh, because we did go with the cheap $54 one, um, that's how you save on cost is you don't assemble it. So that's kind of our bad. And uh, we don't really have another choice because we don't have another grill and I don't want to go back to the store and it's freezing outside. So uh, hopefully with the help of Austin, we can just kind of get this thing together as soon as possible, tag team it and uh, get to cooking because this is our, our sole way of cooking our food today. <laughs> Which one start? Oh. All right guys, so now that uh, Darren almost, uh, you know, blew himself up, we're going to get our camera rig set up here. Um, we are going to use a wireless monitor for this so that we can just make sure we set the shot. We have an angle that we can see it while the camera's on a tripod, see what the shot's gonna look like. So we're gonna go ahead and set up our FX3 over here um, with this lens, which is gonna be pretty sick. This is the Lawa probe lens. Pull this bad boy out. This thing is really long and interesting, but uh, let's go ahead That's what and- she said. <laughs> nice. Let's go ahead and throw this on the camera here. All right. I'm gonna use a small HD focus on camera just so we also have a nice monitor on camera and it's not just a nice director's monitor, but you can still see what's going on here. And then we'll plug this into the output on our Vaxxus Atom. I've really been enjoying, um, honestly, shooting with this, even running from the camera into this and then looping it out of the Atom into a focus monitor. Um, really don't have any latency issues. Uh, resolution is super high, so there's really no 
downside to running it through this first before it hits the monitor that I've seen so far. Um, it's been perfectly working. Um, it's been perfectly usable for me. Um, and obviously for this with being on a camera and really not dealing a ton with pulling focus or moving subjects, uh, it should be just fine. So we're gonna go ahead and finish getting our director's monitor set up. We just added a second Forza 300B with the Aperture Light Dome Mini. Uh, we did end up booming this main light up overhead. Uh, so we really kind of want like a top down sidey uh, lighting, but the reason we had to add another light is honestly, this probe lens being a minimum, the widest aperture that it goes is f14, it does not let in much light. So even uh, shooting in slow-mo, so if we wanted to shoot slow-mo uh, with a one over 250 shutter speed, even all the way wide open at f14, I was at 4,000 ISO, um, which I, is fine on the FX3, it would be totally fine. Um, however, adding a little bit of light definitely helped with that. I think it looks pretty good. This is kind of what the shot looks like currently with just like a placeholder. Um, I think it looks pretty good, but we're gonna go ahead and add a backlight and then we should be good. All right guys, so we are just about done troubleshooting the lighting. We did, like Austin said, we had to add a little bit more light. This lens is brand new to us, so we're learning how to use it. And uh, we had to backlight, so we added another Forza 300B, and uh, we're about ready to start shooting the product. So we're super excited because we've been waiting all day for this moment. We got super prepped for it, so here we go. All right, so we ran into quite a bit of issues. Again, this is brand new for us. Shooting food, um, getting the right angles, we're using that new probe lens, which we found out that we actually didn't want to use for the product shots because we wanted a top-down angle, something really just simple um, so that we can flip through the products and just make it really cool that way. We will use the probe lens, however, for the actual like cooking with the flames and the sizzling and the smoke and all that stuff. So that will be really cool. We're excited to do that. We won't do that today. We'll actually do that uh, a later day um, or tomorrow. But right now we are shooting the products. Just this really cool like flat lay kind of look. We lit it really well. All right guys, so we switched up our lighting setup for the product shots. Uh, really just have this one big side lighting source. Um, we decided to kind of keep this simple. The products are in the packaging. So we're shooting every product in the exact same shot with an overhead camera straight down that you can see here with our super official grip head. Uh, there's a boom arm holder for like a microphone boom, but we <laughs> used a monopod on it so that we could actually get the camera perfectly overhead for a top down shot. Uh, it is working perfectly. And as you can see here is the, the final shot of each of the products in the packaging. So we're just gonna knock out all of these, run through each product in the packaging in the exact same shot. So that way we can make a commercial showing that there's variety, flipping through all these different products. Um, and then really once we're done with this, then we can start taking them out of the packaging, cooking them and getting to the more interesting stuff. So we got the checklist. We're gonna run through all these products and we'll see you in a bit. All right guys, we just got done with the first shot uh, after a pretty long day of trying to figure it out. Um, but we shot all the products in the packaging. Tomorrow morning, we're going to start getting the products out of the packaging, presenting them with all the items that we bought from the store and cooking them, making them look awesome, getting some probe lens action. But uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Summertime.